Today I'm working on a protege that had an EGR flow insufficient. I believe it was a P405, something like that. So this thing's been through everything. It had a 171 code that lasted forever. We went to clean the mass airflow sensor. It was filthy and that got it to pass emissions. And then the light came back on again shortly thereafter. And there was a crack in the hose boot right here and that caused it to fail emissions. And then I still had 171 and this little tube, which is a feedback tube for the EGR system. See the EGR valve goes there and this pipe was blocked and that caused it to have a problem. So we fixed that. You can see it's open now somewhat. And then now we got a P3, P0301 and it needed a tune up real bad so we did that. We did new plug wires and plugs and a valve cover gasket because that was leaking. And then more EGR problems. Uh, replaced the valve. I forgot to mention we did that earlier. It wasn't recent. Uh, but we did the valve. It's already full of all kinds of carbon buildup. And long story short, now that it's back in here again with the most recent development, uh, I look into it. I just pull the whole intake manifold. Um, it would be good to clean the throttle body. It's just gross. Both sides are just totally full of crap. Air filter's clean now. Uh, but when you look inside where the throttle body was, turns out I didn't necessarily have to pull the whole manifold, but I'm kind of glad I did anyway. See, the EGR valve mounts here on the back side underneath. There's a little, uh, uh, there's a link that goes between there. I checked it, it's good. And when you look inside the throttle body, you can see where there's supposed to be a hole and it's just all that carbon stuff in the center of the frame. I know you can't see it that great, it's down in the black hole. Uh, but when you look on the outside, you can see the casting for the EGR, how it goes down through there and then back to here. And then from here it goes to the pipe there. We've got good flow of EGR gases to the valve and then there's a little obstruction there, a lot of obstruction there, and complete obstruction where it's supposed to go in here. Now the way that this sits on the car is this just goes in here and then your throttle body's here. Of course that tucks down underneath, it's being blocked, it's a little tricky getting it out. But where that obstruction is, is just right in there. Let me grab the light again. This isn't my best video, sorry. But see how that's just totally blocked off right there in the center of the frame. You can kind of see the stuff sticking up. Um, but it's just blocked out. So that's what needs to be cleaned. It'll be easier to clean it with the manifold off, but you could probably do it with the manifold on and it'll just flush from that hole there to here. What I'm going to be using is a dental pick with a 90 degree uh, turn and then also some B12 chem tool. It does a really good job at uh, getting hard crap off of carburetors, but also just anything where there's carbon buildup. So anyway, what an ordeal this little thing has been. I'll use the same B12 on that uh, throttle body. It works really well. So there's your fix. EGR flow insufficient. I should say so. So this little hole here, that's what we're looking into. You can see it there. Um, that was totally blocked off. And where that goes is it goes down through here and then out through this top hole. You can see that they had to cap and drill here to get that thing to go that way. You can see that they did the hole before they cast the two parts together maybe, I don't know. And then there's another cap here, so this thing's like winding, going all over the place. And then they had to do another hole, a cap, whatever, just to get to that. So if you're not going to get all those caps out, you got to do something to clean that out. So that's where the B12 chem tool comes in. I don't know how bad this stuff is for the environment or not. But I know it just rocks that carbon stuff. Just watch this stuff pour out of that. And it comes out black and then it comes out kind of caramel like now. And the next thing you know it's clear. And so I've been doing that to get it to break up. It's like when you do dishes. You guys do dishes, right? <laughs> if not, it's an amazing way to get sex. So, uh, I'm not saying for prostitutes, I'm saying in a marriage relationship, your wife will appreciate it and love you better if you do dishes. So, pre-soak, that's what I'm talking about. Pre-soak it with the stuff and uh, blow it through with compressed air 
and then do that and then uh, repeat. And before you know it, that thing's going to be clean. Speaking of clean, look how much better all of this looks, including looking at the throttle body. Looks way better. So that's our fix. Let's see how it does now that it can breathe. That's a lot better. One last kiss. Pink. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks, radio. Lots of dash lights, but it's because the doors are open and the seat belt's on. Seat belt's not on, that's why. Oh, that's a lot better. No more stumble on takeoff. I think cleaning that throttle body really helped. It seems to be idling pretty smoothly as well. I think that's what we like. I went ahead and cleaned his windows and mirrors and armor all some stuff for him. I needed it. He's a good friend.